this is an old friend that's been in the shop before a couple of times for different reasons. This time it's in for a pickup mounting hack and you're gonna love it. This video is going to be two in one. First is going to be an announcement. Uh, and second is also going to be a tech tip video and a, a very clever tech tip that's really going to be worth your time. Now, speaking of time, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, time is money, which brings me to a point. I've been spending a lot of time making these videos and haven't gotten any money for them. I mean, yeah, a little bit of money, but you know, just not enough. Most of the time, is spent editing the videos. Um, and that's the time I could have been spending working on customers' guitars and getting paid. And since I wasn't, it ends up costing me money. But I came up with a solution. Uh, it's just a, it's not a long-term solution, but uh, it will help. I'm going to be live streaming some of my projects. Now, I've already started doing this, but so far, all the live streams are archived as private videos, which I will make public. Um, and in fact, I'm going to make one of them public right now in this video. And that's the one that is going to be a useful tech tip video. Very useful, regardless if you are a guitar repair technician or if you're just a uh, uh, a musician that likes to tinker, or even if you're just uh, a catless child lady, uh, like a sailor twift, is that the name? Oh, excuse me. Guitar quackery. What cats and dogs? Come on, will you shut up, man? This guy just giving me a headache. I get all these calls here. Uh, <clears throat> where was I? Okay, so the live stream tech tip video. So far, I've done 30 live streams. Uh, one of them you're about to see. And basically I push the button and then I text the link to my customer and the customer can watch the live stream in real time. Uh, so it provides full transparency as I work on a customer's guitars, I've gotten some feedback from customers and they love it. Uh, I think I'm the only channel doing this so far, to the best of my knowledge. Um, and this is something that I am going to do, uh, keep doing in the future. All right. So there's no editing involved. I just basically do my job, get paid for it, and you get to watch. But the videos are not edited. So it takes longer to watch through the whole project, right? Uh, that's that. So uh, we'll talk more about that uh, after you watch the archived live stream. We're live, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is a, going to be an interesting hack on our friend, the Gibson Explorer Gothic. Uh, this guitar has been on this bench two times already in the past. And I am texting a link to the customer as we speak. Okay, cool. Um, let's have a look at the guitar first. As a reminder, uh, this is the guitar. If you uh, watch a guitar quackery, this guitar should be familiar to you. It's here for, um, some other issues and there's one issue that's going to be addressed here it's this pickup here's a close look at, at the pickups so the customer is complaining that uh this pickup uh, feels like it wobbles um unlike this one this is much stiffer than this, okay? You can kind of see this. I already took the screws off so that we can look. Um, so here, let's have a look at uh, this pickup first. So, I don't see anything wrong with this. Uh, so this is the pickup, this is the ring, 
the screws, the springs, both of them are here, the correct springs, and it fits inside properly. Uh, there doesn't seem to be an issue, uh, but there is, and it's going to be a hack, an interesting hack, and the solution is hiding here. This is a set of uh, base strengths okay, that I saved. Ah, we'll see. <laughs> let's look at this. Um, so now let's look at this pickup. Okay, so this one is stiffer. And does anything look different? Okay, so let's uh, place it here just for a moment. And let's have a look at this pickup again. So this is what's different. Uh, now, sometimes this camera doesn't want to focus properly, so I'll put a manual focus here. Um, as you can clearly see, um, these two pickups are not ident identical. Uh, this spring is more compressed on this pickup than this spring or both of them on this pickup. And the reason is this distance here from the bottom of the plate to the whatever this is, okay, called. And you can clearly see that this is a shorter distance. So a shorter distance requires this spring to be compressed more. So as I mentioned, this is going to be a hack and we'll use a set of old base strings. The ball ends of the strings. I already have uh, these ball ends here from another set and the idea is very simple. Uh, okay, so let's put them here. Let's put this pickup back in place and now let's just focus on this one. Here it is. Um, I am basically uh, going to place these here as spacers. Okay, so I'll, I'll remove the screw and the spring and then put these two ball ends of uh, strings, of base strings as spacers. So why don't we do it right now? Um, I need obviously uh, some tools. Uh, here I'm first going to protect the guitar so it doesn't get scratched up. And this should just take a few minutes. Uh, now let's remove this screw. Let's look at it from uh, here. And we uh, now take this alligator clip and we need to compress the spring all the way. So let's put it upside down. Uh, I am even going to, uh, well, let me put, uh, how about my, my, my business cards, okay. Upside down like this here and push this all the way down. Clip it. Okay, so this is a little bit finicky. Is that the word? And Let's place two of them here, put it back. 
Okay, this is a very strong spring. So the clip is not even able to hold it. Because we're putting a lot of tension on, on the spring right now. Normally, these clips can hold the spring without the spacers. And I want to kind of make sure it feels okay. It does. And we do the exact same thing on the other side. A quick little hack. I always save uh, these ball ends of base strengths. I uh, have other uh, other tricks or hacks that I use them for, which I will share in some upcoming videos. Videos, as in plural. Uh, so I'm doing the same thing here, right? So normally I would be able to just hold the spring like this and it would hold it. Uh, but now I, I need to put more tension on the spring. And yeah, let's look at a close up. So I need to hold it down with my hand. This is it like that. And as soon as I get uh, one or two turns through this hole, I can remove the clip. Now, let's put it here. We can adjust the height to the approximate height. And this now feels much better. So it, sh it should still wiggle, but you know, I can't show it on camera, but it obviously wiggles less or should I say I should you I, I, I need to use more force to make it wiggle like I, I can wiggle both of them obviously that's the little hack um, oh this is a special episode of a guitar quackery and I'm glad I'm doing it with this guitar because this this is a special guitar I feel a personal attachment to it. I've seen it a couple of times before and I made a video uh, featuring this guitar. Um, and this is also an announcement of um, some upcoming live streams. But there's more to the story. Mm. Oh, by the way, if you liked what you saw, and if you feel that this tech tip helped you out in any way, you know, you can click that um, link that says, buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. This way, um, well, you show me that you appreciated it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can also click, you know, the other usual links. You, you know what to do. Thank you. My customer was able to watch me work on his guitar in real time as I was working on his guitar. So that was a really uh, good experience for the customer. Uh, I've done a few of those uh, private live streams for a few customers, and so far I've gotten really good feedback from my customers. One of my customers even shared uh, the private link to uh, a whole bunch of friends and family members, and I even had a small audience on one of the live streams, which was you know, uh, interesting and rewarding for me. So there will be uh, an announcement video, an official announcement video coming up uh, announcing, well, obviously that's what an announcement video is for, right? To announce something. So it will be announcing when I will start live streaming for the general public. So you need to be subscribed to this channel uh, to be notified. Um, 
Now, I will also be charging by the hour uh, on some projects uh, because some projects end up costing me. So if you think about it, I need to pay rent in order to spend time working on a guitar. And if I underbid, and if I end up spending significantly more time working on a guitar, I end up paying for the work that I'm doing on a customer's guitar. And that just can't be, right? So from now on, whenever I see a guitar that's uh, an enigma, that's you know really hard to uh, predict how much time I'll be spending on it, um, the customer will be paying by the hour and it will be live streamed. So there will be full transparency. The customer will be able to see exactly how much time had to be spent working on the guitar, right? Because some guitars simply have issues that are not apparent um, right away before I start working on them. And you know they need to be resolved once I open the can of worms. So there will be, uh, also that option from now on available at the shop. Subscribe to be notified and um, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon.